getting water on a rainy day compared to that time I got rain on the sunny day, this is gonna be far, far easier than last time. So this started out like pretty much all my other studio projects. The table, the black cloth, the light, the tripod, and the item that I'm shooting that needed a very vigorous cleaning. I then placed an item in that fish tank just to get me some focus on so I could compose my shots, work out my lighting, etc. And then proceeded to put jug after jug after jug of water in that fish tank till it was nearly full. See, don't ever fill your tank right to the top because then when it comes time to scooping that water out, as you put your jug or cup in to scoop that water out, it overflows, so nearly to the top is key. So when I was setting this up, I was trying to remove as many reflections as possible, which meant blocking out all the windows in my studio again. I had this one light up to max power just to try and give me enough light to freeze the motion, and to be honest, it didn't quite do it. When I brought this light, I didn't think I'd even need the more powerful option, because I very rarely need to freeze motion. I need it just for videos, and this one does the job. But it turns out when you're trying to freeze motion in a dark area you just need as much light as possible the other area i was struggling with because i didn't have enough light was just my depth of field as i was dropping the items into the water they would sway back and forth as they fell down and my accuracy wasn't always spot on and it would just jump out of that very precise narrow area of focus so i really needed like f16 as a minimum but there's one way to get around a narrow depth of field without changing the aperture and that is to get wider and go closer so i changed to wide angle lens which meant more risk of water getting on my camera gear and i shifted that camera up really close to it this did mean i had to put a black towel underneath my um, fish tank in the end just to try and remove some of those reflections and i was getting a lot of the shots in the tank and it, it got quite tricky but i thought if i get my shots clear enough it'll work. I also had to get rid of the constant light and change over to just a speed light, a flash. This was far more powerful. It means it dropped my shutter speed down to 250th of a second because that's the sixth speed of the X-T4 for triggering with a flash, but I could have a broader depth of field and I just have to time my shots. So initially with the constant light, I was trying to do it with a burst by going and holding that shutter down and that high speed continuous and firing off lots of shots. We've gone to one single powerful burst of light from a speed light I had to get my timing right so I had to drop and just as it got through the water hit that shutter button to trigger that shot in the end I got a shot with a pretty cool amount of movement and motion to it but the end result did have quite a bit of environment to it, it had that like I said the reflections the fish tank the other things that didn't quite work so because it's my competition and the only rules really are I can't leave the house and I've only got to do random subjects I am allowed to photoshop but I, I always try not to so in this case, if you've got shots like this and you're wondering how I photoshopped it, this is how I did it. First of all, I unlock the layer and then I make a new layer underneath it that is completely black. I went black because that's what color I'm trying to make on my surroundings in this case. I then clicked on my original photo and go through all the different blending modes just to until I find one where most of the image disappears pretty well. I then duplicate that photo again and put it underneath itself and mask out where that blending mode has affected my object in the photo so when my lemon's gone too contrasting my water doesn't quite look right i've just masked that out so i can see through to the normal looking lemon what i then didn't like was the top of the fish tank i could still see and i had to do a little bit of masking just around the edges etc and where it hit the water so i proceeded to photoshop out both that that um, water line and the top of the fish tank but once I'd finished all the editing, I realized it looked a little bit weird without having the waterline in it. So I edited that back in, and in the end, I'm really happy with the final photo. As always guys, thank you very much for following along. I know I brushed through this really quickly, so if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. If you'd like to join in on this challenge or any other challenge, feel free to hashtag TV photo challenge. I love seeing all your work. If you could flick me a like, a share, and subscribe on YouTube, it would mean the world to me and help me get one step closer to doing this for a full time living. Plus, if you'd like to tune in tomorrow, you're more than welcome to watch me try and take some photos of mobile. For those that aren't sure, that means taking a photo of your mobile phone, like the, like the Apple commercials, not doing phone photography.